Good day to all. Before starting the video, I ask you to subscribe to the channel and like it. This will help promote my channel. Today, I will tell you about the legendary American criminal whose name has become a symbol of ambition and audacity. Jack McKenzie, known for his daring deeds and ingenious plans, has again entered the game. But this time his goal was not just a valuable trophy or a bank robbery. This time he decided to go further by hijacking a passenger plane, an act that shook America and left everyone in shock. But what was behind his action? What made him take such a risk? And most importantly, what is he going to do next? Let's start at the very beginning of Jack McKenzie's story, going back to his childhood to understand how legends arise. Jack McKenzie was born and raised in a small California suburb. His childhood was far from ideal. His father, involved in alcohol and gambling debts, was rarely at home, and his mother tried to make ends meet by working two jobs. Already at a young age, Jack realized that his life should be different. He dreamed of freedom and wealth, of life without restrictions and humiliation. Jack McKenzie was born into a large family where he was the eldest child. He had two younger sisters and one brother. From a very young age, Jack was aware of his responsibility for his younger brothers and sisters. He watched as his mother worked hard at two jobs trying to make ends meet, and his father, embroiled in an alcohol problem, often became aggressive and merciless in his antics. Not only did he neglect his family, but he also became physically violent, especially when he was drunk. For Jack, this was not only a source of fear and pain, but also a challenge. He firmly promised himself that he would protect his brothers and sisters, giving them the decent life they deserved. This experience became a powerful driver for him, motivating him to strive for more and achieve success at any cost. One day, when Jack was only 10 years old, his father lost his temper and began beating his mother right in front of the children. This was the culmination of many years of tension in the family. Jack, feeling rage and despair, resolutely stood up for his mother, while his younger brothers and sisters, intimidated and afraid, watched him defend them. This incident was a turning point in Jack's life. He realized that he could not trust his father, and that in order to provide a better future for his loved ones, he would have to take action himself. Jack then decided that he had to find a way to make money to provide for his family. And while his methods may not always have been legal, his goal remained the same, to protect and provide for his brothers and sisters and to give them a better future. At age 12, Jack realized he needed to take action to help his family. He decided to take responsibility and started working hard to earn money and help his mother. Jack began shining shoes for rich people in the area. Every day he went out onto the city streets with a small box containing everything he needed to shine his shoes. Despite his young age, he was determined and persistent, and his work was of incredible quality. He not only gave the shoes shine, but also improved their condition, like a magician turning old into new. The death of his father from alcoholism was a heavy blow for Jack and his family. This was not only the loss of a loved one, but also the loss of the main source of income in the family. The mother was overwhelmed with grief, and her health was extremely poor due to years of stress and hard work. Jack, although still young, understood that he now had a huge responsibility for his brothers and sisters. He continued to work as hard as he could, shining shoes and earning every cent to provide for his family. Despite his youth, Jack became the main breadwinner in the McKenzie family. He cared for his sick mother and provided his younger brothers and sisters with everything they needed, food, clothing, and a roof over their heads. His life was filled with difficulties and hardships, but he did not allow himself to break under this burden. Pressured by financial difficulties and the threat of losing his siblings, Jack decides to take drastic measures. He realizes that his dreams of a better future for his family cannot be achieved through honest work. He realizes with horror that the organizations could take him and his younger siblings if he cannot provide them with enough money to live on. 
With a heavy heart and deep depression, Jack decides to join a criminal gang. He understands that this is dangerous and wrong, but for him, there is no other choice. Somehow, he finds contacts and joins a group that offers him a fast track to money and power. From this moment, Jack's criminal story begins. He plunges into the world of crime and becomes part of dangerous operations and deals. All this is in sharp contrast to his dreams of a better future for his family. Despite the dangers, Jack feels this is the only way to save his siblings from a horrific fate. He has to make tough decisions for which he will pay a price, but he is willing to do anything to ensure a secure future for his family. After joining a criminal gang, Jack quickly got used to this dangerous world. He was willing to do anything to provide for his family and did not hesitate when it came to taking on assignments that often involved illegal activities. With each new case, Jack became more experienced and fearless. He was willing to risk everything to make money and keep his family safe. His determination and dedication made him a valuable member of the gang, and he quickly rose through the ranks. However, this world of crime did not forgive weakness. Jack often found himself in moral dilemmas, but every time he chose his family, he knew that the price he was paying for his actions could be high, but he was willing to pay it at any cost. Over time, Jack became a legend in the criminal underground. His story inspired fear and respect among his comrades, but at the same time frightened them of those who stood in the way of his gang. For Jack, this world became like a double life. On the one hand, he was a criminal, ready to do anything to protect his loved ones. On the other, a caring older brother dreaming of a different, better life for his family. When Jack turned 18, he felt on top of the world. He became a pawnbroker in his criminal gang and earned a lot of money for his age. His efforts finally bore fruit and he was able to provide a comfortable life for his family. Thanks to the income that Jack brought to the family, they were able to leave the old dilapidated apartment and move to a better area of the city. The new apartment was spacious and comfortable, and the surroundings were much better than before. For the Mackenzie family, it was like a reboot after years of struggle and hardship. However, despite his new location and prosperity, Jack still had a burning fire of determination and a desire to protect his family in his heart. He understood that the world of crime was unpredictable, and he must remain vigilant and ready for any challenge. One day, when everything seemed good and prosperous, Jack's life suddenly ended. The police ambushed the gang to which he belonged. Immediately after they completed their next deal, the gang's location was revealed, and the police attacked them with unexpected force. With chaos and gunfire engulfing the streets, the bandits were arrested one by one. Jack, who was at the very epicenter of the battle, was able to miraculously avoid going to prison. He ran away, scared and stunned by what was happening. After the adrenaline subsided, Jack realized that his life had changed forever. Now his main goal was to escape and hide from the law. He knew that if he was caught, his family would be in danger, and he himself risked spending the rest of his life in prison. Thus began a new stage in Jack's life. He went into hiding, moving through shady streets and avoiding contact with the law. His life was now full of danger and uncertainty, but his determination to remain free and protect his family remained unchanged. With the ghost of the prison cell hanging over his head, Jack made the decision not to tell his mother what had happened. He understood that any detail he told could be the key to their discovery, so he decided to remain silent without putting his family in danger. With all his strength and determination, Jack was able to gather a few things and some money and headed to Chicago, hoping for a new beginning. Chicago was a big city with many hidden places and opportunities to escape and start a new life. In Chicago, Jack tried to find a new identity, avoiding connections with the criminal world and people who might betray him. He lived in marginal areas, working under the guise of an inconspicuous occupation and trying to remain invisible to the eyes of the law. 
It is in Chicago, with its dark alleys and underworld, that Jack McKenzie decides to begin his legendary crime, which will write his name in the history of the criminal world. Without an extra team and alone against the whole world, Jack realizes that he will have to rely only on himself and his wits. His plan is not just risky, it's insanely dangerous. But Jack knows that this is his only chance to escape this hopeless situation. With every step, he feels tension and adrenaline pumping through his chest. He has to be careful and cunning to avoid falling into the hands of the law. Every detail of his plan is thought out to the smallest detail. Every step is carefully planned. Determined to hijack a passenger plane, Jack McKenzie enters the next stage of his daring plan. He takes a passenger flight from Chicago to Mexico, hoping that it will allow him to achieve his goal. Armed with determination and confidence, Jack McKenzie began carefully planning his plan to hijack the plane. He studied flight schedules, security features at the airport and onboard the aircraft, as well as the psychology of passengers and crew members. Concealing his intentions from others, he developed a strategy that would allow him to board the plane undetected. He identified security weaknesses and looked for ways to circumvent them. At the same time, he was preparing to intimidate the passengers and crew into submitting to his will. He analyzed various behavioral scenarios and planned his actions to achieve maximum effect. Jack knew that the success of his plan depended on every detail, so he left nothing to chance. Every detail was thought out to the smallest detail. Every step was well thought out and planned. After careful planning, Jack McKenzie decides to use explosives to intimidate the passengers and crew. He begins making explosives, carefully selecting ingredients and following his detailed plan. Jack knew it was a risky move, but he knew it was the only way he could create enough fear to force the passengers and crew to submit to his will. He worked all night long, assembling and testing explosives, making sure they were reliable and effective. His hands trembled with excitement, but his determination was unshakable. With the explosives ready, Jack moved on to the next stage of his plan. He carefully hid it in special places so that it would go unnoticed until the moment he wanted to use it. It was a dangerous and risky step, but Jack was confident in his abilities and was ready to do anything for his goal. He knew that the success of his mission depended on his ability to make passengers and crew believe that he was serious in his threats. Hiding the explosives without being noticed by the guards was one of the most difficult tasks for Jack McKenzie. He began to think of subtle ways to hide it, using all his skills and considerations. After much thought, Jack decided to use a special bag with a secret compartment. He purchased it and carefully modified it adding a hidden pocket that was almost invisible. Once the bag was ready, Jack placed the explosives in a hidden compartment, making sure they were safely hidden from prying eyes. He checked everything several times to make sure nothing was suspicious. When the moment of action arrived, Jack felt confident knowing that his explosives were safe and ready to be used at his command. September 17, 1998 was the day Jack McKenzie had been waiting for, this was the day his operation began. Disguised as an ordinary passenger, he boarded a passenger plane flying from Chicago to Mexico. His heart beat faster as he walked through airport security. He was tense and ready for any turn of events. But when he finally sat down in his seat on the plane, he felt calm and determined. The time came and Jack activated his plan. He calmly pulled out the hidden explosives from his bag and made sure that the guards were not paying attention to him. His hands were shaking with excitement, but he was ready for this moment. The explosive was activated and Jack held it in his hands, ready to use it at his command. But to his relief, none of the guards paid any attention to him. He continued to act as if nothing was happening, maintaining his coolness and determination. Everything was going according to his plan, and he was ready for the next stage of his mission. His heart was beating faster from adrenaline, but he was confident that he could complete his operation successfully and reach his goal. After Jack set off the explosives and hid them from security, he boarded the plane, ready to head to Mexico. 
His heart beat faster as the plane took off, and he knew there was no turning back now. He called the flight attendant over and announced his threat in a serious tone. The flight attendant looked at him fearfully, and Jack saw that she understood the gravity of the situation. He explained to her that he had a bomb and that she must fulfill all his demands. Otherwise, the consequences would be dire. The flight attendant, being trained for such situations, began to do everything Jack told her. She was pale with fear, but she understood that the lives of many people on board the plane depended on her actions. Jack, feeling confident after he had announced his threat, ordered all the passengers to gather in the toilet stalls. His voice sounded firm and adamant, forcing the people to follow his order without objection. Passengers, frightened and overwhelmed by the situation, began to slowly move into the cabins. They all understood that now every second mattered, and that their own safety depended on their compliance with orders. Jack watched with a calm face, knowing that his plan was going swimmingly. He continued to hold the bomb in his hands, ready to use it at any moment if anyone tried to violate his orders. When all the passengers were in their cabins, Jack felt that he now had complete control over the situation. His plan was moving forward and he was ready for the next stage of his mission, in which he was going to reach his goal at any cost. Jack, maintaining his cool tone, contacted the pilots and expressed his demands to them. He clearly and decisively explained that he was holding the bomb and that they must obey his commands and carry out all his orders. The pilots, realizing the seriousness of the situation, agreed to comply with Jack's demands. They opened the back door of the plane and established contact with local law enforcement agencies, the police and the FBI. Jack kept an eye on what was happening, making sure his demands were being carried out flawlessly. He knew that control of the situation was now in his hands and that he could dictate the terms of his operation without fear of objection. After contacting the police and the FBI, the pilots gave them information about the situation and Jack's demands. They understood that not only the safety of passengers, but also public order was at stake, and they were ready to do everything possible to help resolve this situation. Jack conveyed his demands to the police and the FBI through the pilots. He demanded that $10 million be transferred to his account. He clearly and adamantly stated that otherwise he would blow up the plane with all the passengers on board. The silence on board was so real that you could hear the beating of the passengers' hearts. Jack, despite his outward calm, felt tension in the air. His resolve did not waver. He knew that this was the key moment in his operation. While the negotiations continued, Jack continued to watch the passengers and crew, making sure that none of them tried to signal security or the police. His plan was on the verge of implementation, and he was ready for any development of events. The police and FBI began discussing Jack's demands and took steps to fulfill his demands. They realized that time was against them and that they needed to act quickly and decisively to prevent disaster. The FBI, realizing the seriousness of the situation and trying to prevent a tragedy, decided to agree to Jack's demands. They agreed to transfer $10 million into his account in hopes of getting him to abandon his plan to blow up the plane. Jack received confirmation that his demands had been fulfilled and was convinced that the money had indeed arrived in his account. He felt powerful, knowing that he now had control of the situation and could complete his mission without harm to himself or the passengers. The situation on board became less tense when passengers and crew learned that Jack had received the required amount and was no longer a threat to them. But Jack still remained vigilant, knowing that his plan was not yet complete and that he must act quickly to avoid any unforeseen circumstances. The pilots began to notice that Jack McKenzie had stopped communicating with them. At this time, a tense situation reigned on board the plane, and everyone began to realize that something had gone wrong. When the pilots checked the cockpit, they discovered that Jack was no longer on board. They were stunned to realize that he had jumped from the plane using a hidden parachute. 
The moment of realization that their passenger, who had threatened to blow up the plane, had left, caused excitement and panic on board. The pilots immediately contacted air traffic control and local law enforcement to report the incident and request assistance. Jack McKenzie, meanwhile, jumped from the plane and found himself in a forested area on the border between Mexico and the United States. The FBI immediately began investigating the incident. Special agents began collecting evidence and analyzing all available data to figure out how Jack McKenzie was able to carry out his hijacking and escape. The very next day after the incident, FBI special agents discovered the whereabouts of Jack McKenzie and arrested him. He was found in a wooded area on the Mexico-U.S. border where he tried to escape from law enforcement. After the arrest of Jack McKenzie, the FBI began interrogation and further investigation to find out all the circumstances of the incident and identify possible accomplices. They sought to understand Jack's motives and how he was able to carry out his security plan and airport checks. The arrest of Jack McKenzie caused a wide outcry in society and attracted a lot of media attention. The story of his hijacking and escape became the subject of news coverage, causing shock and surprise to many people. Further legal proceedings and investigation helped to clarify Jack's motives and establish his involvement in criminal activity. He was brought to trial, where he had to answer for his actions before the law. As the investigation progressed, it became clear that Jack McKenzie had indeed made no attempt to hide. His motivation was to save his family, a very humble and noble act. It turned out that he transferred all $10 million received from the FBI to his mother's account. His family, having learned about this, decided to immediately leave with Jack. Saving his loved ones from possible danger, Jack decided to take this step, realizing that he would be arrested. After Jack's arrest, when the police and FBI arrived at his home, they discovered that his family was no longer there. She was able to leave with Jack and start a new life in safety. The fate of Jack McKenzie remained a mystery to many, but his act remained a symbol of devotion and love for his family. His family lived safely in Asian countries thanks to the money he transferred to them. Jack McKenzie's story is legendary in the world of crime, but for his family it was simply a story of love and devotion. His act will always be remembered as an act of true heroism and sacrifice for the sake of his loved ones.